Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. On the last episode, we did a whole bunch of cool stuff. We found a bunch of secret chests, we talked to Knife Guy, played his game a bunch of times to get that bright card. We went back to Moleville and we spent $200, or coins, excuse me, on a mystery egg. And we also suited out all of our... Uh, people here, if we go to, what am I trying to do? I guess equipped. You can see what I have equipped it, everyone with. Just scroll on through. And at least for this episode, we're going to be running with Mallow, uh, Gino, er, Mario. Switching Mallow out, keep you in suspense, uh, and Gino. Uh, so, Gene Mallow for Toadstool, that is. Okay, so let's just get going. I have, I kind of forget this area, but we're gonna... Probably gonna go this way, and like that, and that's a cloud, and there's probably a secret here or something. Um, maybe I'll just quickly check. Uh, let me check the tome. Oh, very, very, very interesting. Right here, right, oh. Try this again, try it again. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I kind of got ahead of myself. All right, so we got the red essence there. That took me way, way longer than I ever expected it to, but we can continue on this way, and we can basically do the same little puzzle here if we just Oh, maybe get a better timing than that. I, no, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, uh, I really don't know if I should be... No, oh, there we go. Oh, God. Okay, uh, goodness. Lots of dogs? I wonder what they're called. Oh, completely missed the timing there. A chow. Uh, that's kind of original, I guess. Uh, not much in terms of defense, though. Uh, I do like Peach. Peach has a group healing attack, uh, called Group Therapy. Heals everyone for 86. So that comes in plenty of handy, and that's kind of, uh, Toadstool's Peach's, uh, <laughs> use their names very interchangeably. That's kind of their gimmick, I would say, is, uh, they're the healer. So, Mallow and Gino are kind of like magic users. Uh, Gino is also kind of a physical. Mario is kind of a physical. Uh, Bowser is also kind of a physical guy. Uh, oh, and just something to mention. I don't know if anyone, if you don't know, if you haven't tried. Uh, but you can't swap Mario out. So, Mario always has to be in the party. So, you only get to really swap between the other two. And there we go, beat that guy. Uh, I do want to go back, okay. Speaking of the devil, Malo got a level. Learned Snowy. Also, uh, I think Mario got a level. I don't know if I'll uh, either fast forward through it or cut it off, but he learned Ultra Drum. Uh, and we're gonna keep doing this though, because we really want to get all the way to the top. So, not like there, but all the way up. So maybe right now? I'm getting close, but not quite. There's probably something really obvious I gotta do, and that's not it. Um, okay, come on, come on. I guess as I'm doing this, I'll keep trying. Uh, as the time I'm recording this, uh, I might upload this way in the future, which is hilarious. Uh, but we just had a Nintendo Direct. Uh, it is... February 2023, which if what I find, I have no idea when or if I'll ever upload this, so that's kind of hilarious. But we had a pretty awesome Nintendo Direct if you ask me. We got uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. Okay, I'm just gonna try this one more time. Uh, and I've <clears throat> I wasn't a huge fan. Maybe we can just wait a second. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. We probably wasted so much time this episode. Uh, dang. Um, but yeah, Metroid Prime. I just got announced, and I'm pretty hyped for that. Uh, honestly. 
I never actually beat Metroid Prime back in the day, but part of that was because I was young, and honestly, most times when I return, or I think most people return to video games when they're older, they're like, oh, this wasn't nearly as challenging as I thought it was. Just made it up to be a lot in my head. So I've got, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's going to be the case. It's been the case a lot of times, but I'm probably going to pick it up. Uh, I probably won't let's play it. I'm just, you know, just, just talking, just see, just letting you know what I, what I'm thinking. Uh, I did actually upgrade my Switch to the uh, like whatever like the plus package for to get the expansion pass for Switch Online. Uh, because honestly, uh, playing those Game Boy Advance games were really hype. I already started a let, or not a let's play, excuse me, but a playthrough, uh, of Minish Cap, because I, I, I do have that game on, uh, maybe I should jump down here just to see what's up. Uh, there's, there's nothing down here. Uh, I do have the, uh, the Minish Cap on the original GBA, but I, uh, what what's happening oh come on mario get up there we go uh but just to play it again on the big screen i don't have like the gamecube uh the thing like if you know what i'm talking about it would go to the ball i don't even know what it's called but basically it let you play gba games on gamecube it's really cool i think that's how most people recorded their gamecube games uh i might be wrong though uh with the double fist. We are doing a lot of damage now. These guys are not that. I know Peach is low, but like, that's because Peach kind of sucks. Uh, what? I didn't say that. Peach is awesome. Uh, it's also total. But yeah, I, uh, I, I'm assuming that's how most other, like, people who, like, make game content record. I'm sure a lot of people just emulate the game, honestly. Uh, and, like, that is super easy to do, but. We're not about that, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah. But uh, having a lot of fun replaying that. Uh, I think I will end it off here, though. This is kind of another weird episode. Sorry about back-to-back -back weird episodes, you guys. But I guess that's just where the weird part of the game. I'm just gonna stand here and spin around. And on the next episode, uh, hopefully we will get through Land's Ending. Peace.